Have you ever wanted to live in one of those mansions you see on TV? How about getting a paycheck like that professional athlete or owning a cool car? Yeah, being rich was nice in any age or time in history. Let's take ancient Rome, for example. If you visited ancient Rome, you'd see beautiful temples, palaces, and gardens. But you'd also see tiny apartments on narrow, dirty streets. It's probably very similar to your city. If you people watched in ancient Rome, you'd go to the Forum, a public gathering place, instead of the mall or skate park. You'd see wealthy women shopping with their slaves, senators protected by bodyguards, soldiers keeping order, merchants and craftspeople selling their goods, foreigners from all over that came to trade in Rome, and hundreds of thousands of Roman slaves that were captured in war. Just like in your city, the wealthy had the stuff. Wealthy Romans spent tons of money on silks, jeweled weapons, perfumes, and musical instruments. They had beautiful big houses with statues, fountains, and pottery. However, as you know, most people aren't rich. Most Romans lived in poor neighborhoods filled with crime and disease, or on small farms, or they worked on huge estates owned by the rich. Heck, poor Roman kids were lucky to reach your age. Okay, let's talk laws. Rome was an empire, so the emperor had all the power, but the Senate continued to meet. Senators had very high status in society. They had special rings, pins, togas with purple stripes, bodyguards. They thought they were all that. Crime was common in ancient Rome. Police watched wealthy neighborhoods, but not poor sections of the city. Sound familiar? Some streets were so dangerous they were closed at night. Any Roman could accuse someone of a crime. Juries of citizens decided the case. Remember, not everyone in Rome is a citizen. Romans believed one law applied to everyone, but the poor faced harsher punishments, sometimes even torture. Religion was important to the Romans, and pleasing the gods was part of their daily lives. They left offerings at the temples, made sacrifices, held festivals and holidays to honor the gods. The Romans borrowed gods from the Greeks, and foreigners brought new forms of worship to Rome. Rome welcomed most religions as long as they weren't disloyal to the emperor, who was also honored as a god. In Rome, all family life was ruled by the pater familias, or father of the family. That's right, dad's word was law in the house. In wealthy families, husbands held well-paid political positions and had lots of leisure time. Wealthy women ran the households. They bought slaves, ran businesses, and owned property. You go, girls. In poor families, both the mom and dad had to work to provide for the family. Roman babies were born at home, but Romans only kept the healthy babies. Sickly babies were left outside to die or to be claimed as slaves. Man, that's harsh. Boys 14 to 18 years old had a special ceremony to mark becoming a man. Would you be ready for those responsibilities? And girls started getting married at age 12 and started running their own households. Can you imagine being married right now? An obvious difference between the rich and the poor was their housing. The rich lived in huge houses made of stone and marble. They had big kitchens where slaves prepared food like rice cooked in honey, roasted parrots stuffed with dates, salted jellyfish, or snails and milk. Mm -mm. Right across town, the poor lived in small, cramped, dark, wooden apartments. Rats carried diseases, and fires were always a danger. They cooked food on small, portable grills and bought fast food from places called thermopylias. They ate bread, beans, porridge, fish, and sometimes fruits and vegetables. You're probably watching this video for school, so you must be a wealthy Roman male. You'd be learning Latin, Greek, math, science, literature, music, and public speaking. You'd be training to become a soldier, doctor, politician, or a lawyer. Boys were in school until the age of 12 or 16, when they started running their own properties. Are you ready to graduate? Wealthy girls trained at home to run a household but could become dentists, real estate agents, tutors, or midwives. 
On the other hand, poor children went straight to work to learn trades like leather or metalworking. What do you do with all your downtime? Watch movies? Gaming? Wealthy Romans had lots of free time because slaves did all their work. They enjoyed banquets, plays, and musical performances at home. But both the rich and the poor used the public baths to bathe and exercise. They also both attended the festivals, gladiator contests, and chariot races. The poor got to watch from the nosebleed section. 90% of the empire's people lived outside the cities. The rich had huge estates with gorgeous villas, aka vacation homes. The estates were worked by slaves and provided food for the cities. Poor people struggled to survive on their own small plots of land or worked on the wealthy estates. Let's face it, life is easier if you're rich in any day and age. So get that education, work hard, and make it happen.